good morning or is it afternoon um, I think you realize uh, I made adjustments to my presentation and uh, when you look at it it's really the traditional uh, sustainable use of wood uh, in Zimbabwe specifically referring to the sculpting uh, sector of the arts in Zimbabwe. I think you can appreciate my background is not science. I don't want to claim that I'm a scientist, neither am I an academic. I work with arts and therefore my presentation will basically be looking at uh, how wood and the work I do impact on each other. Uh, in Zimbabwe, probably you realize uh, I come from a body that uh, looks about on, the, on the arts in Zimbabwe, including sculpting. In Zimbabwe, sculpting is basically stone, but there has been a, traditional, a tradition of uh, wood, especially from the western part of our country, where most of the wood sculpting is practiced. And uh, I think some of the issues that were being di discussed in terms of uh, its impact on uh, the sustainable use of wood are also quite pertinent. So you will realize uh, I'm just, uh, the initial part was just to give you who we are as an organization and, um, and, uh, and what we do. But I think the most interesting part is that uh, in our country, wood, uh, is controlled by uh, different uh, uh, organizations for its sustainable use. We believe as a country, wood uh, is an important uh, uh, resource that needs a lot of protection. And so a lot of uh, inst uh, instruments are there to ensure that uh, the artist in particular can use it sustainably and we can be able to um, uh, ensure that uh, posterity has uh, uh, the resource. You also realize that uh, in, our, in our country, you can't cut wood legally. And most of our artists have to use uh, dry, uh, or if they have to cut at all, then it will be under the supervision of uh, those that uh, uh, are in control of wood. I think you also realize that uh, a lot of wood in our country is used by various uh, institutions. For example, we are a tobacco producing country and uh, tobacco uses a lot of wood. And legally, they have to ensure that they replant and uh, every time they buy uh, tobacco seedlings, they have to plant a 0.1 hectare of the uh, amount of uh, land they are using for tobacco. So it's very important and uh, it's also meant to ensure wood remains available. Um, of course, this is a common knowledge when you look at, uh, in my country, uh, those who use this wood, the major users, uh, I think uh, you look, wood carving becomes one of them. Um, because there's a lot of tourism, especially in the Western. For those that have been to Zimbabwe, that's where you also fi find the Victoria Falls. And uh, massive tourism comes to that part of the country. And so our wood covers also take advantage uh, because most of it is now for commercial use and people do it for sustain sustainable living. But on the other hand, we need also to protect the, 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 the forest. So um, uh, when you now look at uh, uh, how one looks at uh, wood and its importance is one of the um, you know, commonest, and I think someone was, was here earlier, talked about uh, the, the, the statistics of the availability of wood. Uh, so is in my country, I think a lot of uh, land is still populated by wood. But in the last 10 years, because of uh, challenges more so in energy, uh, hydro, which we depend on, there has been quite a lot of uh, 
um, wood use and you, uh, people were using wood uh, as a source of energy and a lot of trees were cut uh, especially um, 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 uh, around urban centers a lot of trees have been cut and that has affected you know the 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 amount of uh, wood and that has also put challenge on the monitoring of uh, the use of wood um, Um, when we look at the main reason why wood and wood-based products are most important to men, so you find uh, wood is the universal product. This has also been mentioned. Wood is also abundant, and so it's very easy to, to get than other products. And you can uh, use it, you can, you can replant it, you can uh, regenerate uh, the wood. Um, and wood also has been known throughout the world to provide uh, so much over the century. Not only does wood provide food, it also provides the other uh, things we know, energy and uh, uh, sculpting as we, we have done. And when we look at uh, some of the strategies that have been used or traditional practices that have also assisted in ensuring that uh, uh, we continue having and continue providing a sustainable use of wood amongst uh, communities, including our rural communities. We, we have a, a practice, and I think it, 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 it goes beyond uh, our country, uh, the totemism where people um, uh, are able to associate their clans and families with certain uh, natural resources, including animals and, 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 and trees. And that has tended to assist as well to ensure that uh, certain trees and certain forests remain intact because the people among those uh, communities uh, look at, 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 at those places as uh, sacred. And in fact, we also have sacred places where people cannot cut these trees because Cutting the trees from those areas or for, from a particular type of tree is known or believed to cause uh, problems to the people. But obviously because of uh, urbanization, modernization, globalization, some of these practices are being starting to be affected and in turn it's also starting to affect uh, some of the sustainable efforts of ensuring that uh, certain trees that are so rare uh, in some parts of the country remain there. I think in a sense, answering my colleague's question, how can some of these trees that appear to be quite uh, threatened, uh, how can we ensure they remain uh, available to posterity? Um, we also have uh, um, practices in our, in, our, in our traditional Shona, uh, culture where certain trees cannot be used for firewood uh, or even for certain sculpting purposes. You can't use that tree because of its uh, 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 traditional importance. And therefore, those practices ensure that certain trees that may be so rare to get, to get are able to remain uh, available for posterity. And uh, so are the uh, 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 rules of ensuring that our traditional setup is able to control and monitor the use of uh, wood, especially for local communities. Um, uh, one of the threats in my country that uh, really uh, is threatening even in terms of our sculpting communities uh, uh, to be able to get the type of wood that they require to use uh, for their day-to-day -day survival is really what I call commercialization of the wood. Not that commercialization in a sense uh, is, um, is, is, is a bad thing, but I think when it's not controlled and monitored, then it sometimes creates problems where wood and uh, 
logging can be uncontrollable and uh, exports may not also be controllable. And uh, when that happens, then uh, you find some of our communities uh, may then lose some of their forests. Uh, some of the efforts that have been used in my country to ensure that uh, trees remain available and uh, uh, people can use them, we have a program that we call the annual tree planting every December. December in our country because that's when rains are there. I think this has been reasonably very successful when people are able to plant and there has been a concerted effort to ensure that the planting includes indigenous trees as well. As you would know, most of the indigenous trees are the ones that are uh, easier, better to use even for sculptures or even for domestic use. People prefer the indigenous trees than the other type of trees. So a lot of effort has been also put in trying to encourage our people to plant uh, uh, indigenous trees as well. And we have also had the uh, creation of woodlots. Uh, most families are encouraged to have woodlots around their homes uh, and that has also helped. And uh, we also look at the uh, legal framework in controlling the exploitation of uh, trees uh, by artists as well as uh, sustainable use uh, of the wood and trees. Um, when you also look, we also have um, a program which we call Campfire in my country where the local community, because one of the challenges that has, that has been observed has been um, that most people may always feel that uh, when efforts are brought to communities to try to sustainably use trees, they look at it as something that is coming from outside and therefore they may not cooperate and ensure that those efforts succeed. I think an effort has been made to ensure that whatever, bene whatever benefits are accrued in the forest tree exploitation, the trees exploitation, 10% of that remains with the community. And that will be used in terms of uh, hospitals, schools, and other places, especially where communities have huge forests and beneficial trees that are uh, located close to their communities, where exploitation becomes a competition between those who are using the, 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 the timber for commercial use, be they sculptures, uh, sculptors or commercial users, then part of it must remain with the community as a way of encouraging communities to also look uh, for their, uh, after the, those, those, those uh, forests. Um, we've also had um, a new development in terms of um, our religious, uh, from a very religious point of view, where you find some of the religious communities of our country would actually put a lot of uh, value in, in some of the trees. So you find where they practice their religion, even where the, the area is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is devoid of uh, forest, they would normally keep uh, some of those uh, areas, you know, bushy. And a lot of that has now been encouraged so that we are able to ensure that some of the trees uh, that are uh, uh, being exploited can be kept. So a lot of efforts are, are being made to ensure that the people themselves, the ordinary people themselves, own the process and in the process they are also able to uh, use uh, sustainably some of the timber that uh, are found in Zimbabwe. Most so, more so of our artists who are part of the community uh, communities of our people. Most of our artists are working from communities and it is from those communities that we then get uh, people using some of the timber that is around. I think uh, I will end there. Thank you very much.